All right, so this is Fab Filter VSTs running on a MacBook Pro 13 inch Apple M1 chip. So, start with micro. Micro loads fine. Filter one. Uh oh. Proceed two. That's fine. Fab Filter. That's fine. That's fine too. That seems to be running pretty good. Go G L two M B Um Let's try to rack this up as many as we can and drops any random audio on this just to see what happens. So far, most of the Fab Filter bundle is actually working fine, which is a good thing. These are VST2s. I'll try VST3s after that. For some reason, there's a lot of issues with isotopes plugins. Oh, this seems to be very fine. All right. But there's approximately the whole suite open right now on this audio track. Let me just shove any audio file. If I have one, do I? Hmm, I think I do. Oh. Let's take anything that really any song, right? Let's set this straight ninety three point fifty two ninety three dot. 52 let's see if this works so far so this is the cpu usage and here you have the run usage and uh, i'm currently running approximately uh yeah one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two plugins on one audio track just for testing purposes. And let's see how the CPU goes. We're currently at, let's say, thirty percent. The RAM, the memory is not even. GPU, let's see memory usage. Uh, Ableton is using 1.13 gigabyte with about 22 uh, VST2s open at the same time. So, ain't that bad. And CPU usage peaks at like 40%. You have the whole graphic, there's some peaks. The core audio I hear is insane. So, VSTs from FabFilter work fine. I'm gonna try VST trees and different other uh, plugin makers uh, just to be sure. Alright, 